Super Napier Park Chong one. Why Park Chong eh? and why Super? It's Super because it is superior in many fronts. One of them, uh, one of the superior qualities about Super Napier is the protein content. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You see the protein content here is 16 to 18 percent. Yes. Ordinary Napier mm -hmm. has between 7 to 9 percent. Mm -hmm. And how does it get this protein here? It is a, a cross of elephant Napier grass. So it's a cross of a type of Napier grass called mm -hmm. elephant Napier grass mm -hmm. and palm millet. Palm millet, um, you know, mil palm millet is a drought tolerant crop mm -hmm. and the CP for palm millet is very good. It ranges from 9 to 22%. Mm -hmm. So if you cross that with super napier, then you, or rather with elephant napier grass, then you have a product that is superior, mm -hmm. giving us protein content of 16 to 18%. Mm -hmm. And then another good thing with it, it is growing very fast. In fact, were it not for some challenges we experienced here because of water and then the poor soil conditions, it would have really been very tall. Eh? Um, it grows after every, if you plant cuttings now, a cutting like this one today, um, after every, uh, after 75 to 90 days it should be ready for harvesting. And by ready for harvesting I mean it will be at a height of 1.2 meters where it has, the, um, where it is optimal with regards to, uh, this, I mean it is at that height that you get this protein content, 16 to 18 percent, at a height of 1.2 meters. Um, in one acre, if you have it in one acre, you're getting 200 tons. 200 tons is enough uh, food for 13 to 15 dairy cows. Oh, okay. Yes. For uh, for, uh, so usually in Napier grass, this one grows for eight years. So every year you'll be having capacity to feed 13 to 15 dairy cows. Yes, it's a, you know now Napier grass is a perennial crop. But now if you cross it with millet, you have a, a superior product that lasts as good as Napier grass, but as high as in nutritional value as, as palm millet. Yeah, um, and then uh, so after every so you plant it today, 75 to 90 days, it's ready for harvesting. Subsequently, after every 45 days, 45 to 60 days, so in a year you get average harvestings of seven to eight harvestings. And then the beauty of it is you may come closer. It doesn't have the pricky hairs that are usually conspicuous with other Napier grasses. Uh, you can see maybe like this one. Eh? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have those hairy bits mm -hmm. because it's it's been crossed it with millet. Even hurt you <laughs> no, it doesn't. You can cut it and put it on your shoulder and carry really? it. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Maybe coming here after like the third or second cutting, mm -hmm. this place will already have been filled up with with yes. napier grass. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I I think they added some elements of of, of sugariness, which is in the millet, mm -hmm. such that if you cut it, say you have an acre, mm -hmm. 